Today we're going to talk about measuring to the nearest fourth inch. The first thing you need to do is think of an inch as a fraction. If this is zero and this is one inch, you break it up into fourths. The first part is one-fourth of the whole inch. You color in the second part. You've colored in one-half of the whole inch. One more, you have three-fourths of the whole inch. And the last part, you have one whole inch. So looking at our first figure, you can see on this ruler, we have one inch, two inch, three inches, and four inches. The one inch mark we have one fourth, one half, three fourths, and one inch. I'm gonna line up, make sure my figure's lined up with the zero, make sure it's lined up at the end, and I can see that this figure one, two, three inches, exactly three inches long. The next figure we have here is an arrow. I'm going to make sure that the beginning is lined up with the zero on the ruler. And I'm going to make a line where the end is. I have to go to the very end of the figure. Now this figure is one, two, three inches and just a little bit more. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find the exact halfway point between the three and the four. This mark is exactly between three and four. I know that this is the one half mark. So my figure is three inches and one half. Three and one half inches. The next shape we have here is a trapezoid lined up with zero. I'm going to make my mark at the end and I see that this figure is one inch and a little bit more. Now I'll find exactly halfway between the one and the two, which is this mark, and I know that is one half. My trapezoid is not all the way to the one half. So I know between one and the one half I find the fraction one fourth. This shape is one and one-fourth inch long. The next shape here is a pencil. Make sure that it's lined up at the zero. I draw a line from my end, and I see that my pencil is one, two, three inches, but not quite to the four. I find halfway in between. I know that's my one half mark. Between the one half and the three, I have my one fourth. And now between my one half and my four, I have the three fourths mark. This pencil is three inches and three fourths. The next shape is a crayon. I line it up with my zero. I draw a line at the end. And this is exactly one inch long. And the last figure we have here is a marker. Line it up with my zero. I draw a line at the end. I see that this is exactly one inch and one half because this is the mark that is exactly between the one and the two. That's one and one half inches. And that is our lesson on measuring to the nearest fourth inch.